and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful April 1st. I think today is April 1st day, I believe. Okay, but we're not, I'm not gonna fool you today, okay? I think that's a little childish. Anyway, uh, this morning let's talk about the ultimate kind of outdoor kit. I say question mark. So this one is, it's called Treslet, okay? Uh, from Brew Track. Uh, I think this is a friends at uh, uh, Airscape. That's the day uh, this company makes coffee canners. They actually a place called Planetary Design. So this is really cool. I have not tried this yet, but we're gonna try try that together this morning. Okay. So okay. So let's say if you're going camping, my go-to uh, camping gear is usually AeroPress. Or some kind of uh, some kind of outdoor gadgets. Definitely AeroPress, hand grinder. Okay, let's not forget the hand grinder. Okay, so this one is a San Antonio industry hand grinder with a very nice leather casing. So this and um, protects it. I mean, I, so this is my go-to outdoor uh, hand grinder. And the, obviously, you gotta bring some copper beans as well. Okay, so I usually you know bring about three or four of these. But I mean, it is. It is a lot of work to bring it, especially hand grinder. It's not that if you're going backpacking trip, it's not <clears throat> it's not light. It gets somewhat heavy as well. So <clears throat> if you're planning on going a long hike, it's not the best. Okay, not the best. So what's the best thing? And so this one uses air press and this very light attachment. You can actually break it apart there, put it away on your backpack. And then they use K-cups. I have K-cups here, as you can see. I got quite a few. I mean, this thing is old, by the way, okay? I had it for years. I'm hope I'm gonna have some decent coffee this morning, but let's... So I have a French roast here. Let's see here. I got French roast. I got some D... I'm not... Okay, decaf, I don't care about that. My option is French roast. So, I'm gonna be using French roast. So let's make some coffee, okay? So imagine this as outdoor right now, okay? Imagine this is your outdoor setup here. This is my outdoor table. So let's brew some coffee. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay. So, so this attachment, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to use this one as well. Just simply remove the top. Before we do this, I'm going to wash it first. I'm just going to heat up my water. So pretty much this is all you need. Just like that. I already cleaned this one, so we are good to go there. You can, again, I'm here. if you're just joining us, we're going to play with the K-Cup. Okay, this morning. I'm just gonna wash this quick. All right. I'm just gonna wash this here. I'm just gonna swerve it. Okay, here we go. I mean, this thing is really easy to use, by the way. Simply remove the top of your AeroPress. I'm going to insert the, this attachment first. Just like so. Just pop it in. Just pop it in there. That's it. And then follow by, put your K-cup attached to it. Pop it in. And then put this attachment here, just lock into place, okay? Just like that. And now we can, you are going to make some coffee. I'm gonna have some of uh, uh, this attachment here. Okay, just gonna remove the top. You know what, let's use uh, this cup right here. 
Hold on a second here. I'm just gonna lock it in. I'm gonna just put all the way to the number three. Uh, heat up my cup, water, Uh, if you are just joining us right now, we are playing with the outdoor coffee, uh, kind of like the kit from uh, Airscape. It's called Brew Track, okay? So I'm using the kind of like medium to darker roast, so I'm not going to use really hot water. I'm just going to use the kind of like about 90 degrees Celsius, uh, 90 Celsius degree. And then I'll just simply put the water. I'm going to go up to about number three line there. That's it. A little more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to And I'm going to wait about 30 seconds to kind of like, think of it as a blooming phase right now, okay? I'm going to wait about 30 second blooming phase. I know we are blooming on the K-cup, but you know what? Why not? Okay, so let's give some time to bloom the coffee. I think we are good. Simply just pressure in. Don't force it, okay? Just use your... Nice and easy. That's it, just like that. Just do the let, you know, just your, just, just let it go. We are doing the French roast right now. Done. So now we have this delicious cup of coffee using, uh, it's called trestlet, uh, trestle, okay? Uh, it's called Blue Track. I'm gonna, if you guys are curious, I'm gonna put the link down below, okay? But again, I'm very easy to, the, the thing about the outdoor uh, coffee is work. Because you, I mean, again, you, you gotta bring the grinder. Where's the grinder? You gotta, you have to bring, uh, bring the uh, grinder, fresh roast coffee, and also, you, I mean, it comes to, I mean, you gotta bring the kettle anyway. So the kettle is not the issue. But if you have like decent K cup at home, okay, because the K cup is not the same. I mean, some K cups are better than others. So this one have to be. This is a French roast. You know what? Let's, let's try this coffee. I have no idea what the roasting date was. But the thing is, <clears throat> if you're outdoor, okay? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not sure. But if you're outdoor, you know what? I bet you'd be happy with some hot cough coffee anyway. Okay, let's smell this as well. Yeah. Cheers. Happy April Fool's Day. Is, is there anybody doing some prank to your friends and families? Yeah, let, me, let me know in the comment section as well. I saw, let's see here, I saw a fellow did uh, the April Fool's Day joke on Instagram page this morning. Pretty funny. Huh? They are making fondue out of their stack X there. So, no, no, stack the kettle. Here we go. So, this is a French coffee. Okay. Man, you know what? The fact is I've been really spoiled, okay? I've been really spoiled by drinking good coffee over the years. Boy, I don't know. Man. Okay, so this, this is another option. You know what? Since I'm glad you guys are here as well. It's about 23 of you watching this. Okay, let's try this one. So this one, you don't have to worry about anything. Okay, you don't have to put in your AeroPress, anything like that. So 
let's play with this one. <clears throat> so this is a Nescafe a Classico. I'm just going to put one spoon here. It'd be a lot easier. I'm just going to do one. Okay. We're going to do the tasting. We're going to do the sample taste. All right. I'm going to add some little bit of water. So let's compare K cup made with AeroPress versus instant coffee. Nescafe Classico. <clears throat> Cheers, guys. Wow. You know what, guys? I don't know about you guys, but goodness. It's both terrible, okay? But here's big but though. If you are in outdoor cold morning, if you want something hot, okay? I think I go with, I think I go with the K-Cup, okay? Man, hold on a second here, guys. Goodness. I don't know. I, I think it's all depend on the which K-cup you guys have. But I mean, if you have a good K-cup, uh, I think uh, with the AeroPress method should be a really good option. Okay. I don't know about this one here. It's called Thule Coffee French Roast. By the way, there's no such thing as a French roast. I think that somebody come up with that name. The French roast, there's no such thing as French roast. Because this is like way, way dark. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday morning. Okay, so we are going to jump into Instagram right now. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You know, let's, let's do something more fun, okay? Let's jump into Instagram. And then let's make double chocolate, double chocolate fudge cake espresso. All right. Because, hold on, let me show you. I always want to do this because the, finally I had the opportunity to get some chocolate cake last night. So you guys see this beautiful chocolate cake? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a beautiful shot of espresso using uh, let's use the Bianca. And uh, I think I got, <clears throat> I got this beautiful medium to dark roast. Very chocolatey, very nutty. It's going to be a great match with this cake. So my plan is I'm going to put the sliver of a cake on a cup. We're going to pull the shot. Okay. You have a bit of espresso. Kind of like melt it away. And then we're going to try. Okay. We're going to try that on Instagram. In about in about a minute or so, okay? In about a minute or so, it should be a lot of fun. Anyway, I have you guys having a wonderful morning. And uh, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, okay? By the way, uh, le let me know. Let me know if you guys had a good cake up. Uh, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys. Oh, by the way, comes to clean up for this. Goodness, it's really simple. Just take it out. Just take, uh, take the cake cup out. Just toss it. That's it. So it comes to the cleanup is very easy, but I mean, fact is that AeroPress is really easy anyway, but uh, the one benefit of using the K-Cup, you don't have to using the grinder. So anyway, I hope you guys having a wonderful morning and see you guys tomorrow.